This thing is being recorded. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good awesome. evening, Carla. Good evening, Luis Enrique, Rufino, Hugo, Good evening. Levi, Patricia. Good evening. Uh, Jenny, Liliana. Okay. How was your day? How, how do you feel today? Do you feel with energy? Do you feel tired? tired. How do you feel today? Tired? Kind of okay, tired. Yeah, tired. <laughs> okay I, I understand. Yes. Yes. Uh, a lot of us are kind of tired, but we still have a little bit of energy to um, attend to this class, right? So thank you very much for connect for connecting to this uh, session, to this class. Uh, we are about to begin. We are going to remember that the homework that you had, we are going to practice the conversation in a couple of minutes. And I just want you to, uh, I, if you want to be a volunteer, uh, please go ahead. Or if you need to practice, let me know, right? Some of you, uh, some of you were asking about, or I don't know if, the, if, if it was this group or another group, some of you were asking for the conversations. So I will share it. Remember that the conversation is just a template. It's just... Uh, something that we need to follow, but you are going to talk or speak with your own information, okay? So your own information, your name, what you did during the day, if it was tiring, if it was good, if something happened to you, if you ate dinner with your family already, or if you ate lunch, or if you went to, to your job, or if you go to the supermarket, I didn't know, right? Different different um, activities that you did this today, for example, or yesterday, you can talk about your day with uh, in the conversation. And we are going, after that, we are going to practice a little bit of the vocabulary, also the pronunciation. And tomorrow we are going to have a class, right? Normally on Fridays, we don't have class. Viernes no tenemos clases normalmente, ¿verdad? Pero mañana sí vamos a tener. Tomorrow we will have a normal class at 8, well, 7, 7.55. We are going to have a class. So uh, please be present if, if it is possible for you. So we are going to review what we have uh, studied this uh, week, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer un repaso de lo que estudiamos la semana. Entonces, vamos a, a comenzar. Um, we are going to begin. Who did the homework? What was the homework about? ¿De qué era la tarea que teníamos que hacer? What was the homework about? The conversation. The conversation. The conversation, exactly. Conversation. Conversation about what? About the past, what we did, like previously, right? Okay, so that's what we are going to practice right now. Do you need time to practice with somebody else or you're ready already? Are you ready to practice it or do you need some time with somebody else from the group to practice it? Oh, I think that I... Are you ready? You're ready, right? Okay, so yeah, we yeah. are going to review just one last time the conversation. Okay, so we are going to check it right now. Let me see. Okay, this was the conversation that we have to practice, okay? It says, hello, Carlos, I'm so glad to see you. I'm also happy to see you. What did you do this weekend? I went to the shopping center. I bought many shoes and it was great. Did you have fun? I bet you did. Of course I did. What did you do on the weekend? Well, I went to play football. I was very happy playing soccer. And guess what? We won. So that's what we have to practice right now, okay? One person will ask, uh, we are going, you are going to introduce yourself. Hi, how are you? And then um, I'm happy to see you. What did you do today? Or what did you do this weekend or yesterday? 
and the other person will um, will provide the information, right? And then again, the other person will ask, right? And you, what did you do this weekend or yesterday? And the other person will, will provide that information, okay? Do you have questions? No, right, okay. So we are going to begin with this activity. Um, we are going to begin, let me see here. Let me see who's ready. Someone with the camera on. We are going to begin with Levi and Tatiana. Okay, you are both are going to practice, okay? So who's going to begin, Levi or Tatiana? Turn on, turn on your microphone, Levi. Tatiana, do you have your microphone on or is it on mute? Uh, you can hear me. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Levi, are you able to hear me? Levi, are you there? Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. So uh, who's going to begin, Levi or Tatiana? Me. Okay, Tatiana. Begin with the conversation with Levi, please. Okay. Hello, Levi. I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Tatiana. I'm also happy to see you. What did you do in this weekend? I went to visit my grandmother's house and I cooked some delicious food. Did you have fun? I bet you did. Of course I did. What did you do on the weekend? Well, I went to the gym and I do some exercise. I was very tired, but I'm also excited because I love to make exercise, to do exercise, sorry. And guess what? I finished so tired. That's very hard. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's it. That's the end of the conversation, right? That's it. Okay, very good. Very good, Levi. Thank you for your participation. Thank you, Tatiana, for your participation. Very good. Is do exercise. Very good. But everything was really good. Pronunciation, structure, everything was really good. Now we are going to have Patricia Salazar. Good evening, Patricia. And also Rufino, Rufino Amilcar. Okay, so we are going to Good practice evening. the conversation. And so you just need to ask yourself about your weekend or yesterday or today, right? And you provide your own information. Who wants to begin? Oh. But who will begin, Patricia or Rufino? Yo. Patricia. Okay, go ahead, Patricia. Okay. Hello, Rufino. I'm so glad to see you. Hi, I, I, I to see, I, 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 I like you to see you too. Mm -hmm. What do you do? What do you do this day, Patricia? I went. Uh, I went with my family to the cinema. It was great. Okay, very well. Where were you are this day? Of course I did. What did you do on the weekend? Excuse me, I don't, I don't hear you. I, I, a little bit a little slow. Um, what did you do on the weekend? Ah, I, on the weekend, I went to the church with my family. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I had presentation uh, that to trip to trip Ecuador 
in this church. What do you what do you eat today in lunch? Um, we eat shine food and we end up eating of ice cream. Right. Ice cream, right? <laughs> ice cream liking me. <laughs> Uh, what do you go today? And everything or what do you what do you go today? Is all. Me perdí. <laughs> Lo siento. What do you uh, what uh, more slow? What did did you go today? Is all in all in all? Mm. <laughs> what is your question in Spanish, Rufino? Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo te fue en, en todo en este día en general? Mm, okay, so that's why you were you were saying why, right? But it's how was your day today? How was your day today? Ay. Okay, how was your day? I thought Ay. that you were asking where did you go? ¿Dónde fuiste? Pero ¿cómo ah. estuvo tu día? Ah. Puede ser how was your day today? Okay, so very oh, good. Gosh. Okay, excuse okay. me, Patricia. Thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. Very good, Rufino. Thank you, Patricia, for your participation. Very good. So what we have to do is just to follow the structure, right? Remember the formulas that we seen, that we have seen these previous days? That's what we have to do, right? Follow the formula, follow the, the structure and use the words that we know or uh, the activities that we know daily, right? We're going to have uh, like two or three more people here. Let's see... Let's see, um, Carla, Veronica, Carla, Veronica, and Hugo. Can you hear me, Hugo? Yes, sure, I can hear you. Okay, and Carla, Veronica, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, we are going to practice, okay? We have the template there. So you just need to provide your own information. Go ahead. I just want to hear you. Teacher, um, teacher. Yes. In information about anything things. Yes, anything uh, about what you did today or yesterday, and you can follow the template. You can follow the, the example of the conversation. All right, all right. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, you can begin. With my partner. Okay, Carla, you can begin also. Hello, Hugo. Hugo se llama, ¿verdad? Yes, correct, yes. Sí. <laughs> Hello, Hugo. I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Carla. Me too. I am also happy to see you. Mm -hmm. What do you yeah. do on yesterday? Uh, well, yesterday I got up very early, and then I I went to visit my mom. Mm -hmm. But in the late, I I went to the party with some with some friends, but at night. I didn't do anything because, well, it was a little. It was it was a little. It was it, it was a little tired. And what about you? <laughs> I 
Carla, go ahead. Go ahead, Carla. Go ahead. Continue with the conversation. What about you, Carla? What did you do? I do my homework mm -hmm. of university. Organized my time because I have a lot of time and very much short. Okay. And yesterday I cooked the lunch for my family. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> um, tell me what you ate for, for the breakfast. I ate. Mm, I ate. Eh? Wow. Delicious. <laughs> Hi, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. We are practicing. That's why we are practicing. Okay. So very good. Thank you for your participation, Hugo and Carla. Thank you. I know it's kind of difficult. I like being in front of the camera and everything because it's not like a regular class, but it's okay. Um, when we want to talk about later, uh, like later in the day, uh, we can say in the afternoon or later or at night. Um, if we want to express something that uh, we feel, or like for example, I feel tired. Remember that I, I I was a little a little bit tired, right? And also, what do you eat for breakfast, right? Uh, we can omit the 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 breakfast. No, right? What do you eat for breakfast? Also, organized. Organized is a regular verb, right? So it's organized. I organized my time, and. The rest was really good, so very good. You just need to practice a little bit more. You can practice um, listening to other conversations. And I don't know if you have uh, other people to practice with, but it will be very useful, but it was really good. Okay, we will have, let me see what time it is, 8.12. Okay, we, are, we will have one more time, one more couple, one more pair. Let me see here somebody that hasn't participated yet let me see we are going to have olivia osorio can you hear me olivia Hi. yes yeah okay very good so we are going to practice the conversation you are going to practice with the balmore okay balmore can you hear me yes yes i can Okay. So do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Very clear. Okay. So uh, we are I going am to Shirley. practice. Okay. So you're going to begin, right? Me. Okay. Yes. Okay. You yeah. can begin. Okay. What is your name? I didn't see me. Olivia. Hello, Olivia. I'm so glad to see you. Hi. And nice to meet you. I'm so happy to see you. What did you do this weekend? Well, I did many things like I played uh, soccer with my friends in the field. Also, um, the Sunday I went to the mall because my mother needed uh, many things for the house. And that's it. In case I I went uh, to the beach, uh, San Diego, on Saturday, um, on Monday, I went uh, I went the shop in the morning, uh, in the afternoon. I um, I did at home. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, help my children with oh. all my work. Of course. No, 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 no. Can you the the four? Did you have fun? Did you have did you have fun? Uh, 
No, le... Yeah, did you have fun? It's like, did you? Se divirtió. Uh, uh -huh, exactly. That's it? That's it? That's it? Okay, that's it for the conversation? Okay, very good. Okay, very good. So you uh, talked to about different activities, like I play soccer, I went to the beach, right beach. You need to pronounce like the, um, some, uh, I don't know, probably we are used to so, some places in the country, we use uh, the CH like, like beach, right, but it's beach. On Monday, you mentioned the days. On Monday, I went to the church. Then I helped my children. That was really good. You just need to practice more, right? Like you can practice with this kind of conversations, Olivia, and you will be able to develop like more vocabulary and also develop your own conversations, okay? So you just need to practice a little bit more, but it was really good because you were able to understand each other most of the conversation. We are going to have the last one, the last conversation, the last participation for this activity. And we are going to have, let's see, Patricia Rivera and Luis Urias. We are going to have Luis and Patricia, okay? Okay. Um, I'm going to start. Okay, perfect. Um. Uh, sorry, what was his name? Uh, Luis, Luis Urias, Mr. Luis. Okay. Hello, Mr. Luis. I'm so glad to see you. Mr. Luis, are you there? We cannot hear you. You're not on mute, right? Another burden. <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay, Please. Mr. Luis, we cannot hear you right now. Probably something is wrong with your headset or something. We're going to choose uh, Liliana, Veronica Sanchez. She will be your partner, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead, Liliana. She will begin and you continue with the conversation, please. Hello, uh, Patricia, I'm glad to see you. Hello, Liliana, I'm also happy to see you. What do you do this weekend? Uh, well, on this weekend, on Saturday, I went to classes. I'm receiving uh, Photoshop classes from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. Later on, I got at home and I continued reading my book. And at 2 p.m., I went to the gym. Um, and on Sunday, I went to the church with my mom and with my cousin. And when I arrived at home, I continued spending time with my mom and watching a movie and reading and spending time with my pet. What about you? Um, well, yesterday I went to the cinema um, with my boyfriend and just that, um, yes, just that. Do you have and fun? I hope you have fun, uh, yes. <laughs> I hope you have, you had fun in all the activities you did. <laughs> Yeah, I bet. Of course, I did. And um, what if? Uh, I guess that just that. <laughs> okay, perfect. Very good. Very good conversation. Very good. You have very like large or uh, you have a lot of words. You use a lot of words. The the structure was really good. And congratulations, you have a very good English. And the best part is that you were able to understand each other, right? So very good. For the rest, para el resto, digamos que si a usted le cuesta conversación, crear sus propias palabras, propias oraciones, no se frustre, solo usted tiene que estar consciente que eh, debe de practicar solo un poco más, ¿verdad? Ir paso a paso, ¿verdad? No se frustre de que, ay, es que yo no pude, no puedo hablar, no entiendo, 
tiene que ir paso a paso. Usted se tiene que medir, ¿verdad? No se compare con otros, sino que tiene que compararse con usted mismo, con usted misma, para que usted vaya avanzando. Antes, digamos, no podía estas palabras, pero ahora ya las aprendí. Antes no podía hablar en, en, en presente o en pasado, pero ahora sí. So, don't get frustrated. You just need to practice a little bit more and that's it. Okay. Uh, Mr. Rias, he, he says that he has some problem with head, headset, so no problem. We are going to continue. Yesterday, you have also a little bit of conversation with um, some words, so we are going to practice those words. This is the vocabulary that I was able to uh, check yesterday uh, for this group and also the other group that I have. It is the same level. And we are going to practice it. You can practice at home, but it's the, the, the most important thing is that you can listen to the com, to the pronunciation. Okay. For example, yesterday we talked about headaches. Somebody mentioned that word, headaches. So headaches is dolor de cabeza, verdad? Headaches. Theologies. We have a theologies also. Alguien me dijo, ¿cómo se dice compañía de seguros? Insurance company. Si yo quiero decir, yo estoy a cargo de, I am in charge, ¿verdad? Yo estoy a cargo de, de, de este departamento, de esta clase, I am in charge. Request, what is request? Request is like when somebody is asking you for something, right? Information, things, está solicitando, request. Annual, annual is something that happens every year, right? Annual, annual. Audit. Audit is auditoría. Alguien mencionó que tenía auditoría, so that is an audit. Retired, okay? Someone mentioned also that was retired, que ya estaba pensionado, que ya estaba retirado. Retired. How do you pronounce uh, the past of visit? Is visited. I visited my mom. I visited my grandma. I visited my parents. I visited different people, right? Visited, con una I, verdad, al final, visited. Cattle, cattle que es ganado, verdad, ganado, cattle. How do, how do we pronounce the pass of watch? Watch it? No, right? Watch it, no, it's watched with a T at the end, watched. Travel, the pass of travel, viajar, verdad, travel. How do we pronounce travel? Travel it? No, right? It's traveled with a D at the end, traveled, como si no estuviera la E, travel. Church, we don't say church, we don't say church, we say church, right? Church. The pass of work, how do we pronounce that? Is worked, like with a T at the end, worked. Exhausting, es algo que nos cansa mucho, eso quiere decir exhausting. Serious. Serious always will be in plural, right? I'm watching a serious. One serious, two serious, always in plural. Always with an S, serious. Brush. The pass of brush is brushed. Brushed. Watch is again there. Watch. Received. The pass of receive, recibir, verdad? Received. Yo recibí. I received. Received. Vegetales, ¿verdad? También vegetables, vegetables. That's so a little bit complicated. And the pass of wake up, ¿verdad? I wake up y en pasado I woke up, me levanté, ¿verdad? I woke up at seven, I woke up at eight, at nine, I woke up. So that is the vocabulary. You can practice it, you can look for the pronunciation also, and you can listen to it. Also, it's on internet, all that information. Uh, how to pronounce it is over there. So this is just a review from yesterday. So now we're going to begin with the class for today. We have practiced a little bit. And this is the objective for today. It says build English conversational skills with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements, negatives, and short answers with used to. Learn English phrases like, I used to be very messy when I was a kid, but now I'm very neat. And I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. An oral English comprehension exercise is included. So that is from the platform. If you have worked in the, your platform, 
you will be able to uh, have more ex exercises for listening and also the grammar that we are going to study today. Let me see. Yes, we have time. So we are going to begin with the grammar, right? Used to. Used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but don't do anymore. I used to. La frase que vamos a estudiar hoy es used to. Ese sería la frase, sería el, el verbo, ¿verdad? I used to. What does it mean used to? Solero, solía. Yo solía hacer algo, ¿verdad? Yo solía. I used to be very messy. What is messy? Messy is like disorganized, right? Like, um, yes, like disorganized. But now I'm very neat. Now I'm very organized. Now I'm very ordered. Did you used to collect things? Yes, I used to collect comic books. No, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I, I collect art. What sports did you used to play? I never used to play sports, but now I'm playing tennis. So used to is something that we don't do anymore. We used to do it before, lo hacíamos antes, but now in the present, we don't do it anymore, pero ya no lo hacemos. Entonces, ese, para eso ocupamos used to. O sea, vamos a hablar siempre del pasado, pero un poco más atrás. Vamos a ver un poco más, ¿verdad? Atrás. So, used to can mean accustomed to or habituated to. Acostumbrado, habituado. We used to talk about a past situation that is no longer true. And we have examples here, right? Like the ones that we did, we had before. She used to be a long distance runner when she was younger. This is affirmative. We have affirmative also. We have negative statements. I didn't used to sleep very well, but then I started doing yoga and it really helps. If you notice, that is something that you, uh, it's kind of tricky in these questions or when we use the past. And then in the affirmative sentence, the used to is with the right is in the past. But in the negative statement, we have the auxiliary. And remember that if we use the auxiliary, the verb, the next verb next to it will be in present. So we don't uh, write it with the D. It's without the D. Remember that that is because it's negative. Also, we have this in the interrogative in questions, right? The you used to come here as a child. The, como está aquí el auxiliar del did, aquí ya no se pone el pasado. Siempre que hay el auxiliar, recuerden ese detalle. But at the beginning, the affirmative is in past, okay? So that's why you need to, to follow some um, like formulas, right? That's what we are going to study right now. For example, it says here, like for the formula for affirmative statements, positive statements with used to. The formula, if we remember that if we follow the formula, uh, we are going to make mistakes with that that much, right? If we practice and practice and practice, we are uh, we will never uh, have mistakes. So we have here subject plus used to plus verb in the present plus complement. I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid. Entonces, aquí está sujeto, used to, el verbo en presente, porque el used to ya está en pasado, y el complemento, ¿verdad? Yo solía jugar muchos deportes cuando era un niño. I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid. ¿Vale? Entonces, así, ya si seguimos esa fórmula, everything will be okay. Todo va a estar bien. Another example. I used to be very messy but now I'm very neat, okay? I used to be very messy. I used to say, so it's the same uh, formula, the same order. That is with affirmative. With negative, what I, as I mentioned before, negative, we use the subject. We can use never. And if we use never, it's going to be in the past, right? But that is just an option, right? For example, I never used to play sports. So that is the verb in the present. If we, if we use used to, the verb will be in the present and then the complement. I never used to play sports. Nunca, yo nunca solía de jugar deportes. Nunca solía jugar deportes. And negative statements with used to, we can use the didn't, right? The auxiliary didn't. The subject plus didn't, used to plus verb in the present. 
plus complement. Examples. I didn't use to follow politics, but now I read the newspaper every day. And another one, I didn't use to collect anything, but I do now. So, si seguimos la fórmula, este sería para los negativos, para las oraciones negativas. Y también tenemos fórmulas para las preguntas, ¿verdad? Just no questions, right? Did you used to play sports in high school? Yes, I used to play sports in high school. No, I didn't used to play sports in high school. And we have WH questions also, right? Over there, we have the formula for WH, but if we omit the WH, we just have the formula for just no questions, right? So we have did plus subject plus used to plus verb in the present plus complement. Did you used to collect things? So that is a just no question. And for WH questions, we have uh, the other formula, right? WH verb plus did plus subject plus used to plus verb in the present plus complement. And we have more examples here. Where do you used to study when you were in high school? When I was in high school, I used to study in Colegio Centroamericano. You can add any information there, right? We have another uh, example here. What sports did you used to play? What video games did you used to play when you were a kid? So remember, if we write did, then the subject and then used to will be in present, right? Because of the auxiliary. It's the same as in the past. So it's the almost the same structure, right? The only thing is that we are going to add used to. Now, I don't know if you have questions about these formulas or about this, because this is also explained in the platform. Uh, do you have any question about uh, how we are going to use used to or the meaning or the sense of it in a conversation? Questions? No questions. <laughs> no questions. Okay, I can see Olivia who's touching her head like, oh my God, <laughs> I cannot believe it. Okay, so we are going to, to practice a little bit. Just with first with uh, affirmative statements, okay? Remember, I used to play, I used to be, etc. Now, um, you know what? Uh, we, we have lived, like all of us, like in a society, in our world, right? We live, uh, we have lived this experience all together, like the pandemic, right? For COVID-19. And we were under a lockdown, right? We were not able to leave our houses. We we're not able to see other people just inside of the house, right? So I want you to tell me something that you used to do when you were in the lockdown, right? When you were in your house, something that you used to do, but you don't do anymore. Something that, uh, for example, I used to listen to a lot of podcasts at night when I was going to sleep because I was not able to sleep because I was like, what is going to happen? Uh, are we going to die because of the pandemic? What is going to, is going to be worse or better? So I used to listen a lot of pod podcasts. I still listen to them, but I don't do it that often. Also, I used to watch series with my friends because I was not able to see them or be with them. So at the same time, we used to play the uh, series, right? On Netflix or Prime Video, HBO. And at the same time, we, we start watching that chapter of the movie. It was good because we were talking and we were chatting and sending like uh, text messages, but it was not good because we were not paying attention to it. So it was good and it was not good. So that, that's something that I used to do. Now I want you to tell me something that you used to do uh, during the pandemic, let's say, right? But Maury, uh, just you want to participate, right? Go ahead, something that yes, you used yes, to do. Yes. When I was in the quarantine, um, I used to play video games online, like uh, Call of Duty, Fortnite, etc. By the way, my favorite game was Warzone. Did you play Warzone in the quarantine? No. 
no, actually, I no. I used to I used to play video games when I was a kid, like long time ago. Uh, <laughs> like playing. like like Mario, Sonic. Mario, yes, the, uh, yes, the turtles, seen Mutant Ninja Turtles, <laughs> things like that. Yes, 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 yes. But nowadays I can't because I I don't have time. <laughs> okay, so you used to play study... video games. Yes. What was the name of the video Many game? Games. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Is that Warner a good game? Uh, yes. yes yes it's, my right. favorite. it's very popular yes i have yes. a nephew and he plays those kind of of games yes he's an expert <laughs> yeah very good and now you you don't you don't do it that often because of your time mm, no nah. okay very good very good another volunteer some something that you used to do during the pandemic when you were in quarantine another volunteer okay. something that okay rufino in the pandemic, I used to uh, play play games, table table games, table games, yes. My, table games with my family, but is this moment uh, uh, I we don't we don't play. Uh, you don't play because but, you don't have time. Uh -huh. Okay, what kind of games you used to play? Uh, we we played we played uh, Uno. Uno. Mm -hmm. Do you know Uno? Uh, we played Uno. Uh, we played uh, No Te Enojes. Mm -hmm. No Te Enojes. Yes. We played uh, uh, on other other guy. I don't in this moment. Uh, uh, I don't remember. You don't remember the name. You used, to, you used to play the different games. Very good. Table games. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's, it's good to share some time with your family, even though even if you have like uh, you're a little bit stressed out because of the situation. So that's good. Play games like playing games. Very good. Thank you, Rufino. Now, another volunteer, okay. something that you used to do when you were in quarantine in a lockdown and you don't do anymore. Another volunteer, just one. Me, teacher. Who said me? Mm. Ah, okay, Griselda. <laughs> Griselda, or who said me? Ah, okay, Crisia, right? Okay, teacher, can you hear me? Okay. Okay. During the pandemic, I remember that I used to spend more time with my family. Mm -hmm. And I remember that I used to play video games with my brother. And I remember that I used to sleep very late. <laughs> Yes, we used to sleep very late because we don't have to go anywhere, right? So we can yeah. wake up at nine, ten. That was you. Yeah, that was strange. So you used to play video games with your brother. What kind of video games did you play? Um, I used to play Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I like Mortal Kombat. Yeah. It's it's really yeah, good. The very, fights and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's fun. It was great. Yes, very good. Thank you, Crisia. Thank you. So she used to play video games. She used to stay very late at night, right? So very good. Thank you. What else? Who else? Who else? Wants, who wants to participate? Me, teacher. Okay, Griselda. Go ahead, Griselda. Uh, good night. Uh, in the pandemic, COVID-19, uh, I am working in the house. Uh, my daughters uh, help me in the recording the video for my work. Uh, uh, este, a mí me tocaba, how do you say, a mí me tocaba? A mí me tocaba qué? Es uh, dar clases en línea. I had to teach classes online. Or remote Correct. classes. Uh -huh. um, well, I, I take, mm -hmm. I take the, 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 
Oh, no remember. <laughs> It's the class uh, online. Um, this is my my daughters help me so much. Uh, in activities and dynamic and and participation, opinion. This. Uh, era como que eran mis alumnos, ¿verdad? En, de, uh -huh. ese, en, en vivo, ¿verdad? Entonces uh -huh. ellos hacían eso con ustedes. Este, all, also dancing with este, play it, play it, eh, traditional with, with my daughters. You play a lot with, you used to play a lot with your daughters? Uh, play game. Games, no. what, what kind of, oh no, you didn't play games. No, no, so uh, only cell phone. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. so you were, yeah. you are a teacher. I am. A teacher, uh, and teacher. You, you, you're a teacher from first grade, second grade, high school? Uh, Preschool. Uh, Pre-K, pre-K school. Just for uh, for children, like five, six uh, years old? Six years. Six years old. It six was old. easy or it was difficult to teach? Uh, for I am, is easy. Easy? I, uh, Uh, I am, I am late. Mm -hmm. I am late. I am fun. I am fun. So you used My to work. have fun with your job, with your work. Okay, yeah. very good. Very good. Thank you, Griselda. It was a really hard time. Many people used to work in their homes and you used to record the videos, right? For your classes. Very good. Um, very good. We are going to have one more. One more, please. Something that you used to do during the pandemic and you don't do anymore, please. Another me volunteer. Teacher. Who said me? Raise me, your Astrid. hand. Astrid. Okay, go ahead, Astrid. Well, during the pandemic, I used to work in immigration. Mm -hmm. So I collaborated uh, by providing humanitarian assistance to the returned people. You, and it was difficult for you, like to provide that kind of help, or it was yes, easy? it was difficult because it was the first time that I worked. It was my first job. It was your first job, and yes. you used to go to that place, or you used to work from home. No, I I went to the to the place mm -hmm. in the national gym. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you didn't work from home during the pandemic. You used to go there. Yes. Okay. And you didn't feel like, oh my God, I'm going, I'm going to get sick. Or I didn't know if you got, you got sick during the pandemic. During quarantine. I got sick. You got sick yes. while you were doing your job. Yes. During my work. But everything was okay. It was not like that bad. No, no, no. Just headache, a little bit of fever. No, anything of that. Nothing, no symptoms. Asymptomatic, no. right? Okay. Yes. So that was good. Okay, very good. So you used to work during the pandemic. And um, that's something that you don't do anymore? You don't have that job anymore? Or you're, you're always working there? No, I didn't work in that place. You don't work in that place anymore? So you no. used to work there? Yes, you know? I used to work there. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for your participation, Astrid. Thank you. So now we know the meaning of used to, right? Something that we used to do and we don't do anymore. Now we're going to practice a little bit more. Let me see here. Just to make sure, right? Since we follow the structures and questions are the most difficult uh, things to uh, practice, we're going to practice just with this exercise. So you let me know if you are able to see it, right? I'm going to share my screen and we are going to um, write or we are going to say 
the question for these statements, there are yes, no questions and WH questions, but we are going to use used to. For example, the first one, it says, yes, she used to play sports when she was in high school. What is the question? What is the question for that one? Maybe, <clears throat> did she used to play sports in the high school? Very good. Did she used to play sports in high school or while she was in high school? Very good. So did she used to play sports? Very good. That's okay. We are going to see the, uh, the answer in a couple of minutes. Next one, it says she used to play soccer and basketball. What kind of questions would you write or do you think it is there? What she used to play? Very good. What did she used to play? Very good. WH, right? And we need to follow the, the formula, right? Remember the formula? What did she use, right? She used in present to play. Very good. Next one. I used to live in Santa Tecla. What is the question for that one? Maybe. Where? Yeah, go ahead. Where did you used to live? Very good. Where? Donde? Donde solías vivir, verdad? Solía vivir en Santa Tecla. Where did you used to live? And the last one. No, I didn't used to live in San Miguel. No, I didn't used to live in San Miguel. What is the question? It's a just no question, right? Because it's answering with a no, just no question. So the first one is, the did first you, word is? Did mm -hmm. you used to live in San Miguel? Very good, Angela. Very good, Angela. Uh, did you used to live in San Miguel? No, I didn't used to live in San Miguel. Very good. So these are the answers, right? Did she used to play sports when she was in high school? Yes, she used to play sports when she was in high school. What sports did, did she used to play? She used to play soccer and basketball. Where did you used to live? I used to live in Santa Tecla. And did you used to live in San Miguel? No, I didn't used to live in San Miguel. Okay, so those are the questions, yes, no questions, WH, WH questions that we can use with used to, right? With used to. Activity, write or say something. Let me see what time it is. If we still have 10, 10 minutes. No, a little bit less, like five minutes. Okay, it says write or say something that you used to do and you don't do anymore. Try to use the structures and formulas in affirmative, negative, and interrogative. When I was younger, I used to go out and dance every weekend. Now I like to spend my weekends in my house, watching movies, doing house chores, and you. What did you used to do before? So we are going to have this exercise. This, this won't be a, a homework. I will give you the homework just in a while. We are going to participate just uh, the people who hasn't talked yet, who hasn't participated yet. So you are going to say first, for example, like I used to, I used to play soccer before, right? And I don't play soccer, I don't play sports. And you are going to ask another person, what do you used to do before? And we are going to follow like a chain, como una cadena, verdad? Algo que usted uh, solía hacer y le va a preguntar a otra persona que solía hacer. So we are going to begin with, let me see. Estela. Estela, I used to, I never, I never used to play sports, but I used to, I used to play video games. Let's say Estela. I used to play Mario Bros. I used to play, um, Tetris, different things, right? All things. 
but um, I don't play sport. I don't play video games anymore because I don't have time. Um, I not play video games. No like. I dislike. You, um, you don't like video I games. Don't understand. <laughs> okay. okay. I don't have much time, but play. Um, quizás por eso. Okay. Yeah, no maybe. Tengo mucho tiempo. You don't have too much time. Yeah, it takes time. Exactly. Yes. So what do you used to do before that you don't do anymore? What's something that you used to do and you don't do anymore, Estela? En español, por favor. ¿Qué solía hacer antes, Estela, usted, que ya no hace más? What did you used to do? Uh, something that you don't do anymore. I used to dancing in my school. I love dance and sing. So you love dance, you love singing, and you don't do that anymore. You used to do it in school. Yes, in the school. At the moment, no, I don't have much time to be free time. Yes, yes, I believe you. Yes, it is true. So now, Stella, I want you to ask another person. What do you used to do? When you were a child, what do you used to do before and you don't do anymore? Who do you want to ask to? ¿A quién le quiere preguntar? Tatiana, play this. Tatiana, okay. Ask Tatiana, ask, ask, ask her. What do you used to do, Tatiana? When I was a child, I used to eat a lot of chocolate. Now I don't need more chocolate because I just like the taste of chocolate. Mm -hmm. And so you used to eat chocolate, and you don't you don't eat chocolate anymore. Sometimes. Sometimes, okay, but you like the taste of it. Okay, so um, ask another person, the last one, Tatiana, please. Luis Alonso. Luis Alonso, okay. Okay, Luis Alonso, what do you used to do that you don't do anymore, Luis Alonso? Oh, Luis Alonso, he has problems with the headset. He has problems with the microphone. So he cannot speak today. Choose another one, choose another one. Okay. Let's see. What is the name, Miss? Levi Caballero. Levi Caballero. Okay, Levi. She is asking you something that you used to do and you don't do anymore. Uh, I used to play with my friend in the court, and but after uh, a long time, that I do not do that because I have another things to do, and I spend my time some uh, making some things like do exercise or. Okay, or okay, the the it seems that the connection got interrupted, but he used to play with his friends and he doesn't play anymore because you're working out or not, you you spend your time in different things, right? Okay, thank you, Levy. Thank you. We are going to stop the class right now. Homework is for you to investigate um something really easy. Actually, probably you already know. I want you to investigate countable and uncountable nouns for tomorrow, okay? And we are going to finish the first week for tomorrow. So we are going, we are we are doing this really fast. Ya van a ver que estas clases van a pasar rápido y al final ya van a decir, ya se acabó. So it's over. So uh, thank you very much for your efforts. Thank you very much for being here. And I will see you tomorrow. And remember, you need to, 
investigate countable and uncountable nouns, okay, for tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a nice evening. Thank you, Thank bye. You. Thank you, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. bye, bye. bye. See you tomorrow, bye, bye. Ya se molestó, no, no, para acá.